Tomorrow morning going to be part of the mix in the weather forecast. We are keeping watch on a little uh, storm moving into parts of Live Oak County right now. It's quiet in Corpus Christi. Tower cam showing the cloudy skies and a dry SPID. It's 74 out east wind at 10 miles per hour. The activity that we're watching uh, is up in Live Oak County. So you see George West there on the map. This is uh, the Choke Canyon area, Three Rivers. This is the storm uh, that's moving into western Live Oak County right now. It should be uh, approaching northern Jim Wells, western San Pat counties by around seven. Uh, but beyond that, I'm not so sure that this storm is going to hold together much longer than that. Case in point, You'll see the stuff that was in Duval County flare up and then go away. It's now uh, non-existent on the radar. So we'll watch that storm for the next hour or so. A little passing rain will be possible for parts of the coastal bend overnight through about nine o'clock tonight, and then it'll get a lot quieter. This is all being fired up by a little disturbance aloft. This will work into the northern Gulf into Tuesday and Wednesday, and it'll be a little surface low. It's going to fling a lot of rain into the northern Gulf Tuesday and Wednesday. Our placement, though, in comparison to where this system will be, puts us on the back side of it, meaning uh, our air is going to be somewhat dry and comfortable here through Thursday. By Friday, this system gets absorbed into a larger disturbance moving through the northern plains, and we'll get windier here. So Friday, Saturday, the warmth and humidity will be coming back, and then for the weekend, it does look like we'll catch another cold front and this front may also deliver another chance for rain. Although at this point, I know there's stuff going on this weekend. It's way too early to talk about precision with respect to when this is all going to happen. But uh, looks like this weekend may be a little bit unsettled before the front comes in. Temperature is very comfortable climbing into the middle 80s by Saturday. Not going to be an overly strong front. You see temperatures staying in the upper 70s behind it. No real cold overnights. We'll also see an increase in humidity as the front approaches, but very comfortable tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday. There's the rise in humidity as the southeast winds come in and a little drop in humidity behind uh, the front that'll pass through this weekend. Tonight, 62, some patchy fog overnight. Going to be quiet after 9 p.m. That's about the rain chance will be going away. East to northeast wind, 5 to 10 miles per hour tomorrow. Top out close to 80, very enjoyable feeling weather, sunny to partly cloudy skies, a stray coastal shower possible, but most people will not see any rain tomorrow. Light chop on the bays with a water temp of 70 and two to three foot waves on area near shore waters. Upper 70s for Wednesday, low 80s Thursday. Both of those look like sunny delights to me. 82, more humidity, a little more wind on Friday warmer Saturday and right now I've got that front coming through Saturday night. So I know sand fest happening this weekend. If we have to get rain, uh, we would want it at night mm -hmm. when people are sleeping, uh, but there may be some uh, early morning sand sculptors out there repairing some work if that does happen. So we'll keep our eyes on it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Alan.